I recently did a video showing you how to install LS Posed Framework on your Android smartphone or tablet. After this, I immediately began highlighting some popular modules that I have come across. However, today I received a comment asking me how to install a module and it made me realize that I skipped over a very important tutorial. So today I want to show everyone how to install and activate a module for LS Posed. Granted, I did go over these steps briefly in the videos about the modules that I showcased here on the channel, but it would make more sense to have a dedicated guide that shows you the basics of using LS Posed Manager. So after you have this installed, and it is activated, you can access the manager application by either tapping on the notification or by finding the application icon for the LS Posed manager. If you chose not to create this app shortcut, then you can do this afterwards by diving into the manager tapping into the settings area and then selecting the create shortcut option here. Now to install an LS Posed module, you first need to download one. These modules are usually found in an APK format and you may find them uploaded to a forum or a website. If you have found a module in this way, simply download that APK file and then sideload it to your Android smartphone or tablet like you would any other application or game that had been downloaded outside of the Google Play Store. After the APK file has been installed, the module should show up in this section of the LS Posed Manager. However, the LS Posed Manager application also has a repository built in that gives you another way to discover and install LS Posed modules. So if you just want to browse some of the popular options that are available, then tap this tab down here at the bottom left, and you can either scroll through this list or you can use the search box up here to find a module that you are looking for. When you have found one that you want to install, and we'll use the all trans module as our example for today, we want to tap on that module name from within the list. If there are some details about this module under the readme section, then I highly recommend you look it over so that you can become familiar with what the module does and how to set it up. This will give you some information about the module itself and possibly telling you about the devices or the firmware that the module is compatible or incompatible with. It's always a good idea to check for warnings or other instructions when it comes to using an LS Posed module. And when you're ready to install it, we're going to tap on the releases heading up here at the top. And the latest version of the module should be highlighted right here at the top. You should also see a big button labeled assets that correspond to the specific version of the LS Posed module. Simply tap on that button and then tap on the APK file that appears in the pop-up. It's going to instruct you to download that APK file and then you can open it so that it can be installed.
You can also check for previous versions from here by tapping the show older versions, just in case you wanted to use one of those instead. Now, after the APK file has been downloaded and installed, you then need to activate it. This is very similar to how a Majisk module works. So let's tap on the modules tab at the bottom of LS Post Manager and then find the module that you just installed. This is a module for automatically translating text within an application. And you'll notice that the module that we just installed is going to be grayed out. And it's grayed out because it has not been activated yet. So let's tap on that module and then enable it by tapping the toggle there. And even though we have activated the module from here, it hasn't been loaded yet. And again, this works just like Majisk modules. So after the LS Post module has been activated from within the manager application, we then need to reboot our smartphone or tablet. These modules need to be loaded on boot in order for their apps to make any of the changes that we want. Once you are brought back into the Android operating system, I always recommend that you open up the LS Post Manager application again so that we can check on that newly installed module. We want to make sure that it is no longer grayed out and that the toggle confirms that it is active. Each of these LS Post modules have their own unique way of setting things up after they have been activated. Some require you to go into a newly created application icon so that you can configure them how you like. And others are configured automatically and don't require an application icon at all. You should almost always see a gear icon for the LS Post module when you go into here. And you can go right into that app or the configuration page from there if you don't want to actually find the application icon. This is another reason why I recommended you understand what is said within the README section of the module, because each one may require certain steps to be taken in order for them to work properly. So I hope this video has helped anyone who is new to using LS Post Framework to better understand how to install and activate an LS Post module. There may be a lot of steps involved, but the process is very simple once you understand what is required. If you have any questions about this tutorial or about Android in general, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll reply as soon as I'm able to.